Hey there, and welcome back to Star 77 Productions. I'm Trent, and today I'm going to be talking about the Google Home Mini, which is a great little present uh, for the holidays this season. It's pretty small and compact, and Google just came out with this mini version. Uh, I believe they have three versions. They have this new mini, they have the regular one, and then they also came out with a Max. And basically, the only real differences between the three are the sizes and the sound quality and the types of speakers that are inside them. The Mini has a good one just for, you know, regular around the house listening of music and uh, talking with Google. And then the uh, regular one and the Macs are a little bit more for entertaining, a little bit better for sound quality. You could probably even use them you know for a party if you wanted to but I like this mini because it's nice and compact um, it's easy to put just about anywhere in the kitchen uh, in the bathroom even uh, in your living room um, it doesn't have any options to hang it up on the wall but it has a nice really sticky surface so it'll sit about just anywhere and it will not fall off or be bumped about around very easily uh, it's really easy to set up. There's really only one button on this thing, and that's whether or not you would like to turn off the voice control. Um, so when you set it down and you open the box up, uh, basically you just have to install the Google Home app on your uh, cell phone. Um, and it's the same app that you would use for Chromecast. And I know I did another review talking about the Fire Stick, the Roku, and the Chromecast. Talking about how the Chromecast was maybe my least favorite of the three as far as what it was able to do. But it's actually pretty cool when you use this Google Home Mini and pair it with your Chromecast because it can tell your Chromecast what to do and make your Chromecast function just by voice command. So that really bumps up the Chromecast in my opinion uh, as far as those functions are concerned. So then when you have the Google Home app on your phone, you can control any device that's related to Google like your Google Home Mini or your Chromecast. Um, and then you can also download any apps that it's compatible with and you can uh, either make the Chromecast play it through your phone, you know, just click on play and then it'll play it to your TV, it'll cast it to your Chromecast, or you can just speak into your Google Home Mini and tell it to play something on your television through the Chromecast. Because that's basically what the Chromecast does, is it uh, casts something from your phone onto your TV. But anyway, back to the Google Home Mini. It is a really great friend to have in your house. Um, you can ask it all sorts of questions. You just say, hey Google, what's the temperature going to be like today? In Centennial today, expect a high of 59 and a low of 35. And so you always start out with, hey Google, and then you'll see it light up and it's trying to recognize your voice. And if it doesn't understand what you're saying, Sorry, I don't know how to help with that yet. And she'll just say she can't help with that. And so when you get it set up, uh, there's a couple features where it tries to recognize your voice so it'll know your voice a little bit better and it won't get nearly as confused. Um, and I believe you can set up a, different, a couple different profiles so the rest of your family members can also use it. Uh, but you can ask it any sort of question and it'll just spit out an answer for you as it searches the internet for what you're looking for. So you can say, hey Google, where's the nearest car wash? The address for Action Jackson Car and Dog Wash is Action Jackson Car and Dog Wash, 11 East Panama Drive, Centennial, Colorado. Hey Google, cancel. And then you just say cancel and uh, she will stop with what she was uh, talking about there. Okay, and so she's really good uh, for trivia questions, any information that you might need, uh, traffic updates. Hey Google, what is the distance from the Earth to the Sun? Earth is 92.96 million miles from the Sun. Hey Google, play Pandora. 
All right, music on Pandora. Here you go. Hey, Google, cancel. I had to cancel that really quick for uh, copyright sakes. But uh, you could just tell it to play Pandora. You can tell it to play Netflix. Any account that you have it set up through. Uh, which can be a little tricky because you do have to go into the Google Home app. You know, that's your main app. And you have to give it the credentials that you have set up with Netflix and with Hulu and, you know, with Pandora and other such things. But one, once it knows your credentials and your login stuff, then it can start playing anything that you would like or tell it to cast it to the TV. Like I can say, hey, Netflix, or... <laughs> Hey Google, play Netflix uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Okay, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 from Netflix. Playing on Trent Chrome. And so it'll just play it on my Chrome. I can turn it over here. You can see it's getting ready and I'll have to change it really quick just for copyright sakes. But you can see it's loading over there. It, it, it pinged to my Chromecast and told it to play that on Netflix. But now I'll go ahead and spin away for copyright sakes. Um, and then, um, so it does a lot of Wi-Fi calling, but you can also uh, hook it up through your uh, phone and have it access any of the context you have on your phone. So you can just tell it to dial anybody that you have in your contacts. Uh, or you can just tell it to dial a number that you're trying to call. Um, you do have to be relatively close to make a call and talk with somebody so that they can hear you, kind of like where I'm sitting at now. But if you're just asking it questions and telling it to play, you know, Pandora and stuff like that, you can be across the room and just, you know, talk with a decent voice and it would be able to hear you. And like I said, the sound quality as far as music is just, is great, you know. The mini spits out quite a bit of good music and a good sound, um, you know, maybe not enough to have that sound of high quality that you would need for a party or something like that, but it does pretty well. And then you can just tell it to dial any number that you want as well if you don't have your contacts set up. So you can just say, hey Google, dial 1-800-333-3475. Calling plus one, eight hundred, three, 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 four, seven, four. Which is the uh, DISH network number. Thank you for choosing DISH. To continue your call in English, press one. Hey Google, stop playing Netflix, please. And then it just turned my television off and put the Chrome to sleep. So, yes, this thing has a lot of cool features. It's a great party favor. You can ask it all sorts of questions, you know, traffic related, anything that you want that it can access on the internet, and it will spit that out. Um, it recognizes voices very clearly, you know, maybe one out of 10 requests, one out of 20 requests, it say, sorry, I can't help you with that. But for the most part, it a answers just about anything I need. So I definitely recommend this. Comes in a nice little box called the Google Home Mini. Great present for the holiday. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching.